I have to be upfront. This dinner bowl uses some gluten-free tamari soy sauce. Some people may need to avoid, avoid soy entirely, and in that case, you can definitely substitute liquid aminos and still have a great dish. But I've found that for most people, a little real soy sauce every so often can be tolerated pretty well without throwing the whole system out of whack. The bigger problem is that most soy sauce is actually derived from wheat. Shocking, I know. That's why we tell you to use gluten-free tamari. That way you are actually getting soy sauce. And in this recipe, it really does provide a lot of flavor without much work. And it goes so well with the bok choy and cauliflower. Okay, let's get cooking so we can get eating. Start by heating the oven to 425 and lining two baking sheets in foil. Spread the cauliflower rice out on one foil lined baking sheet, drizzle with oil and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Spread the bok choy out on the other foil lined baking sheet, drizzle with oil and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Place the cauliflower and the bok choy in the oven. You're gonna roast the cauliflower for 10 to 15 minutes and roast the bok choy for 20. If you want crispier rice, flip the cauliflower after 15 minutes and put it back in the oven for another five. While the veggies are cooking, heat a little oil in a pan over a medium low flame. Add the onion and cook for 10 minutes. Next, add the garlic to the onion and cook for one minute. Then add the ground chicken and mix everything together and then cook for 15 minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked through. Turn off the heat, add a dash or two of gluten-free tamari soy sauce or liquid aminos and mix everything together. Once the veggies and chicken are done, spoon some cauliflower rice and bok choy in a bowl, top with some chicken, grab a fork and get eating.